Hey friends, Paula here. Hey, hasn't our devotion on living worship been challenging and encouraging? Living lives surrendered to God, it's not a one and done event. It's something that we have to choose to do over and over and over again. And that is really easier said than done, at least for me. Being a living sacrifice requires obedience, and obedience can be hard, but it's part of our living worship. It's that part of dying to self so that God can make something new and better. Here's the good news about obedience. Obedience to God always brings blessing, and surrendering to God always causes our growth. And when we do both of these things together, it helps us to know God's will for our life. During this devotion, we have been primarily focusing on Romans 12, 1 and 2. Uh, Did you notice that every day we read it over and over again? When I first started reading through the devotion, I thought, hey, maybe that is a mistake. They just messed up or or the app is glitching or something. Um, But as I kept reading and meditating on what we were talking about this week, I realized that they did it on purpose. It was intentional. And it caused me to think, like, what if I started every day with this verse in mind? What if I attacked it on my bathroom mirror or I left a sticky note on my coffee pot? You know, would that help me remember my mission for the day is simply surrendering to God alone? It says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, and then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Friends, living this out could literally be a game changer. Now, we've been talking a lot about surrender, um, but in that verse, I want to draw your attention to one specific word, and that is therefore. Whenever we see a therefore in God's word, it's an automatic clue that something important came right before that has to pertain to what we're talking about. And right before that, we find a doxology, which just means a short song of praise. And this song says, Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given God, given to God that God should repay them? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. So how do we become a living sacrifice? Well, we learn to surrender by taking our eyes off of ourselves and our circumstances, and by putting them on God. This short song reminds us that God has all knowledge and wisdom far beyond our own, that He is just and He can see to the end of every path, every decision. No one knows His mind fully or ever counsels Him. God doesn't have to ask for advice or wisdom because He already has it. God is indebted to no one because everything is already His, and He created everything for His purpose. So when we are uh, tempted to like work in our own power, or try to work it out our own way, remember these verses and remember this song. Remember who we are in relation to God, and then let's just cling to Him with everything that we have. Friends, we have a few more days in this devotion, and I hope it's been as impactful to you as it has been to me. If you like my idea about posting this verse as a reminder uh, to see every morning, just snap a pic and share it below in the comments. If you haven't joined us, there's still time to do so. You can jump in with this week's plan uh, for about five minutes a day, and I'd love to see you and talk to you in the Let's Talk About It segment as we wrap up days five, six, and seven. It's an encouragement to learn together about God and about uh, living a life for Him. All right, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and... I will see you soon.